Hi everyone, it's Mary Jo. Welcome back to my channel. This is the reading for the week of July 1st through July 7th, 2018. I had to re-record it because I said 2015. I don't know what happened in 2015 at that time. I'd have to reflect on that later, but I went there. So um, here we go. So we are, the sun is in Cancer. We just came off of our Capricorn full moon. Alrighty. So we have the King of Wands. Now the kings represent the mental realm, okay? But this king is about fire with the wands. So he has a lot of brilliant ideas. He is able to create things. This is divine masculine energy. Um, someone that is like bringing life. This is the male seed actually. Like if someone is a father or looking to be a father, this is conception. Um, this is our Aries, Leo or Sag, our fire signs. Although this in the tarot is, as you can see, the Leo male. So it's maybe some time for you to shine right now. Now, if this is you, you need to embody these elements. So someone who is bold and dynamic and assertive and loving, compassionate, because we have the North Node in Leo. Um, even as an Aries or a Sag, you, you want to take your inspiration and your passion and create something with it. So either this is involving someone in your life right now who's coming into your life or is present in your life helping you with work or a social situation okay because that's what the wands are it is also inspiration and spirit your spirituality but this person has gone through a lot in their life they've worked very hard and they've brought everything into form they've had a life well lived they're on solid ground here they're established. You see, like the branch is cut from the tree and there's still life. That is, that's what the wands are about. It's life, okay? Energy, okay? We do have the salamander there. There's transformation going on for you. So this person is going to help you with your work or, situa or uh, social situation, transform, become more solid and established. Um, they may have great ideas for you to help you to progress in whatever this field or endeavor is in your life with this person, place, or thing in your life. Um, they are very grounded, this person. Now, in the higher vibration, lower vibration, this person could be bullying, bossy, pushy. Um, but we want to look in the higher vibration of this person, the qualities that they're embodying that are going to be helpful to you. So they're wise. They have a lot of experience that they can share with you with this situation. Now, if you don't know anyone in your life that is like this, this is the energy that Spirit is saying for you to embody. We want you to be diplomatic and evolved in the way that you're dealing with people at work or a social situation. Um, feeling empowered and stable and grounded, okay? The green on his feet feels like, you know, something. It's not a lot of green there, but it's still like, you know, it's starting to become fertile and it's starting to plant something here to grow especially with the wands you know that they're growing something all right so look for this energy outside of yourself in the situation and welcome it in and if it's for you this is about you becoming inspired maybe you got out of your funk you were in a bad place like uh, baseball players go into a slump it could be you've been in a slump and this is the creative all spark maybe you're starting to write music again or write that novel or a book or a play or poetry creating something with a business that you're looking to start um, creating something with your hands that you're looking to um, sell or maybe having a YouTube channel and you're getting out there. See, this is about you putting your ideas into play that you're passionate about, something that you love to do, okay? You enjoy very much doing this. So look for this person in your life, or at least if they're there to help you, know that this is what Spirit's asking you to do to help them because they have a lot of wisdom there. And it's the energy, too, going forward with, you know, this, this is the gift from God. This is the Holy Grail. Now, the Holy Grail means many different things to different people. But with the Ace of Cups, it's saying this is the potential for something new emotionally. This is blessings from spirit. There's the Holy Spirit. There's in communion with the Grail. Now, the Grail could even be your inner self. You know, that's what we really, the Grail is to, to find yourself, to know and love yourself. I am all that I am because of I am that mighty I am, like who you are and knowing who you are. We have all this very calm water. Even though the yodes are spilling out, when all the water is hitting, there's no splashing 
and it's calm. And we have like these lily pad flowers growing. Now usually that grows in a bog, right? But the water is clear. So maybe a lot of you have been in a deep bog, weighted down, things were murky in your life and dark. This is things clearing up for you emotions becoming stable because this to me is definitely with the uh, water sign in the cups it is cancer we are in the sign of cancer um although this does represent the autumn to me so i'm going to say whatever is going into play for you now uh will probably be realized by september 21st 1920 21st when you have the vernal equinox but it's happening right now god's offering you this girl saying take the cup and drink from this this is the waters of life that will renew you refresh you, revitalize you. So whatever this inspiration is, person, place, or thing within you or outside of yourself, okay, this is the opportunity for you to take this and have this felling, this overflowing of emotions that will be calm. And you see things are growing in your life. Like this is potential with the aces, all right? And to me, I liken this to a major arcana because it's God's hand. Then you have the Page of Cups. For some of you, I'm gonna say, if you're men out there that are trying to conceive a child, this is a child, and it is a male child, it's life. Because this is divine masculine energy, and with the Cups, Ace of Cups next to it, it is a life. So you're creating something, whether it is a living being or you're bringing something into life, you are creating, where you would say the queen or the empress or the high priestess, they have the womb that they birth. For a man, they can still birth things, but they start where in the mental realm. But even if they're creating life, the divine masculine energy is there in the seed, okay? So uh, for some of you, this will be a male child. If not, if this is pertaining to a child who's under 18, someone who's very intuitive, uh, someone who has an uncanny sense of things that you may be a little worried about or stressed about, don't worry about that. Um, I was talking to spirit by the time I was two or three out loud, you know, and it would freak people out. Um, even at the dinner table, I had to have my mother sit plates for them. So I, I get it. So observe, you know, the imaginary friend could be spirit. Um, embrace that in your child, you know, instead of being frightened and frightening them with it, let it come because this child is in tune. And like I said, they are in commune with spirit, with God. It's beautiful when we're children, we accept the love unconditionally from God and angels. It's not until we get older and life happens and outside forces intervene and cause fear in us. That we break away from these things so embrace this even in yourself in a childlike way when spirit is there to love you and give you guidance and peace listen be aware okay you may be awake but you need to be aware now if this isn't anything like that for you then it is definitely news coming to you but it's good news it's joyful news maybe someone's getting engaged or married or you found that someone's pregnant uh, or they delivered a baby um, or the birth of a new business, the birth of a new project that's successful. You know, if you're writing a book or a song or your music, you've been waiting for years. Now this is about, this is the time to go. All the rough seas are behind you. All the rippling was behind you. Now it's a time of peace and calm here. You're, you're on solid ground here. You've got the cup in here. And you're feeling empowered. That yellow is empowerment. The red is, you know, like you're getting grounded there and you have so much wisdom and knowledge that you have accumulated over time. You know, and this cup is more like in the water sign, so it's our Scorpio or a Cancer or a Piscean energy, but it may be in a student based, like this is a novice and apprentice. So you're in the beginning stages of something, whether it's your emotions, your feelings, your spirituality, your divination, your business, whatever this emotion is, a, a, a relationship, what you're attached to or tied to, these are the early stages that are starting to evolve in you and going outward in you. And then we have the king. So this is a maturation of the page, okay, where you started as this student, this novice, now you've matured and grown, or the news that came to you about this joyful, blissful, emotional state that you're in is helping you to evolve. Now you see, we have this rippling waters here, and here I said it was behind you. Now you feel like you're deep into it, but the colors are different here for me. 
We have greens and blues and grays. So there's things that are mutable, things that are transitioning. We had the salamander on the first card, so we know things are changing. And even though you're on a solid like cement throne, you're not sinking here, you're floating. You've got the cup in hand that was offered to you by God, by spirit. You took the cup, you drank from it. You started to change things in your life and your emotions and whatever is going on in the beginning stages, but you're evolving and maturing. Now in the higher vibration, this is someone who is in service to others. They're either in the medical field or even agriculture, you know, they care for and take care of people in um, nursing home. Oh, you could be a hairdresser. You could be someone who creates beautiful things with your hands. Maybe you're a florist, someone who creates soaps and candles like I used to do and, and um, doing something beautiful that you love. You truly love what you're doing here. And emotionally, you're feeling the ripples of passion and excitement like this king inspired you with, all right? And you took the ideas as a king, you put your emotions into it, your joy, your love, okay, into it. And now you're creating something. A lot of wisdom that's grown there. See the empowerment and wisdom there, but now you're cloaked in empowerment and lined with, grounded energy all this was oh i just noticed that the ship is coming in look at that i just noticed that red sails in the sunset right the ship is coming in and their spirit that little fishy that was in your cup right and you're looking right at it now it's right there around you. spirit is always around you okay and we still have some something growing here a lot of knowledge a lot of stability you know, the crowning glory, the crowning achievement that you're there. So I really feel for a lot of us, this is going to be culminating throughout the summer until we have the autumnal equinox, okay, into the autumn in the northern hemisphere. And it would be spring in the southern hemisphere because this card is the reverse between northern and southern hemispheres. Um, so yeah, this energy you imbue or embody or embrace as it's coming into your life to help you with this work or social situation. This is a gift from God. They're answering your prayers. They've always been there for you, God, spirit, universe, whatever you call your higher self. This is the beginning stages where you're starting to feel secure that all the rough seas are behind you and you're tapping in, you're tapping in, you're tapping in like with the secret, right? You're focusing your energy on positive, joyful, loving being, state of being. You're tuning in your vibration, your frequency to that which you desire. And the king, you've evolved. You've got all these clear ideas now that you're afloat with and you're excited and passionate about, and you've got a handle on this cup, okay? And you've achieved the things that you're looking to achieve. So this could be anything in your life, your health, the relationship, the love, um, a child, a business, whatever it is, this is general reading, of course. You know, if you wanted something more detailed, of course, I'd need to do a personal reading, but this is a snapshot of what's going on around us. So I hope this helps you. Remember, you are a channel to others. So if it doesn't make sense for you, it could be for someone else in your life. Okay, and you can pass it along to them. So thanks again. Please subscribe to help my channel to grow. Um, and I am available for readings if you're interested. Thank you for watching. And as always, I wish you the best.